All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermit Cave. Playing the stone block quest mod pack, struggling with food. <laughs> that's, that's about seriously the update that, that I have for you, <laughs> in regards of how things are going. Oh my goodness. Guys, I really want to get to building a better mob farm today. Uh, kind of like a mega one for the resources that we have, but the problem is, again, the food. Our taters, they grew a little bit, uh, so I replanted them, but they're... Oh, pumpkin pie. I'll take that. Get, give, in, get in my belly. <laughs> yeah, they grew a little bit, so I replanted them, but it's not going too good. So I'm hoping... Ooh, a diamondite crystal. Nice. So I'm hoping that with a bigger mob farm, we can rely on other food sources. But then there was a thing that you guys were telling me about in the comments. And this is why I just love playing these types of mod packs with you guys. Because some of you, not all of you, but some of you are extremely talented in... Uh, or not talented, you're extremely knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, Escal, in uh, these sorts of mod packs. So... Uh, of course, I should have known about this. It's not like rocket science, but I didn't. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a bonsai pot. And we're going to try and plant that stupid apple, tra uh, apple tree in it. And if the mod author hasn't changed the values, we should be getting a lot of apples from that. And apples are actually pretty good. So, um, that's that's the first thing we're going to do. And hopefully, hopefully that sorts out our stupid food situation so that we can get to building the mob farm today. Because I really just can't build it with with having no uh, no food in my belly you know what would probably be smart to do is to move this thing <laughs> to where i actually have the water all of these small things matters in these types of packs so a bonsai pot is just dirt and clay uh, and then if we want to automate it we need iron to make a hopper as well which we may be able to do um did i i have a little bit left i think we can maybe get one um, yeah, we can get one, and I may want to do another one that's fully automated. These are awesome if you haven't seen them before. They're absolutely awesome, but uh, let's try it. Let's try it. make it. We're gonna need to break this stuff down. I'm using my pickaxe because otherwise I can't vein mine. It's not like I don't know that you can't pickaxe clay. Don't be that guy. <laughs> then we need to smelt this up in our super fern eye that we got last episode. Very nice. Uh, oops. In there and this is the recipe that we're making so we're gonna need some dirt which I have and I guess we'll sift through some gravel because if we have seven I can't do math I think we need ten iron to make two hoppers you guys were also saying that I can make these things even bigger like I can make a was it a five by five that's the maximum so we may we may want to look into that and someone also said that I should probably have different resource rooms for different sifting styles because um, the the different things can yield like the different uh, sieves can yield different resources So that's also a thing that we may do but okay, uh, so we got that and Let's make four of these sure the more the merrier here. I'm just gonna make one more and Put this garbage away and then let's make two chests chest eyes and I'm actually gonna need um, If I have five I probably <laughs> I probably need five chests for them i don't know if it's necessary to make a room for this yet so let's just do this and let's just make a couple more chests probably gonna need a bit more of that um and then hopper i messed up <laughs> you're supposed to put the chest down first then you can drag nice okay two hoppers so we'll make two of these into hopping bonsai pots that's the automatic ones and then i guess we'll have three where that we will just harvest ourselves. Enderman? Evolved Enderman? No, not again. I've seen those guys before. Um, and I think we can just put this down over here. Yeah, Evolved Endermans was a big thing in the uh, modern Skyblock uh, pack. They just kept spawning. Nothing I could do about it. But okay, so if I put our apple sapling in here. Oh, it does plant. And it grows pretty quickly. Yes, look at that. If you haven't seen this before, look at how cool that grows. Look at that. Look at how cool it grows. <laughs> you can also bone meal these. And then, this will also collect wood for us. I um, guess we'll just plant that and make another one if this works. Hello, dude. I really don't want to look at you. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, it's It ain't easy being green. But you're beautiful, though, man. Mr. Mr. E Evo. <laughs> okay, did we get it? <sighs> Sticks. 
Yeah, so there is like a giant, uh, or there is like a small chance that you will get apples, but I hope, I was hoping with an apple supply that it's not changed. Just getting sticks though is a little bit scary. It may not be changed. And I feel like maybe we don't want any manual ones. It's just gonna take up so much time. Yeah, from that tree we got nothing. Okay, so we gotta go big or go home on this basically. I need to sift down a lot more iron, I think. And hopefully it does give us something. But um, the problem here is that sifting requires me to break down cobblestone. Cobblestone, which we now have automatic production of. But uh, I'm going to put everything in here that we're going to use later. Uh, but breaking it down obviously costs food. So yeah, it's a pretty bad situation. I guess I could just... I guess I could actually... Yeah, let's make the monster jerky out of this like some people were suggesting. Um, so we make a drying rack. Then we hang it up. Stop it fire. I guess we'll just make another one of those. Because uh, if we make a proper mob farm, we're going to have a lot of rotten flesh anyway. So as far as the quest goes, this this is fine to invest it in um, into food right now. But yeah, so I need to break down a lot of cobblestone, which is going to cost a lot of food. And that's the whole issue. But I think it's worth it. Let's see, did we get anything in the second yield? Got some wood. Still no apples, though. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to drop apples. Yeah. I mean, I think we can actually see it. Apple sapling. Can we see it in here? There is a 20% chance to get two apples. Okay, so that ain't too bad. If we make all five of these into hopping ones, into automated ones, we should be pretty good here, I would think. <laughs> But I ain't gonna say too much. I mean, it's episode four and I'm still freaking starving. <laughs> I'm still freaking starving. Okay, three stacks of cobblestone into gravel. Got us. One diamond. Uh, a lot of iron. <laughs> it's not actually a lot, but quite a few emeralds as well, which I think is a rare drop. 47 plus 64. Nice. So this is essentially 27 ingots. Is that gonna be enough? We'll see. I'm gonna... Not gonna do the math, I'm just gonna start cooking them up. We also get regular coal from this, which for now I'm just gonna save, I think, that may be uses for it. I can't remember in these sky blocks, but yeah, and in that time, oh, we got apples and a new apple supply, yes! So the normal oak one should also yield apples, but I'd rather have them be um, apple supplies, of course. But we got two apples, Two more apples. Nice. So it's a 20% chance. Oh, I'm starting to feel it here. And someone said, look up fruit salad. This thing. That's terrible, dude. <laughs> That's garbage. One plus two and a half. What is it that this thing gives us? The non pams Harvest Craft. Yeah, I think this is better. The apple juice making use of the use juicer. Because you, you only get one fruit salad per two. Oh, am I going to get full here? <gasps> I'm regening hearts! I mean, it sounds ridiculous that I'd get happy over that, but I, I'm sorry. Oh, that feels so great. That feels so extremely great. And we got enough hoppers to make... Actually, I should probably make one more. Like I said, the more the merrier here, for sure. Another apple. And we're getting passive wood. I mean, I love bonsai, hop uh, bonsai pots so much. But yeah, I should probably... Oh, is that not how I do it? Um... What? What? Oh, there we go. Whew! I should probably make a few more. The problem is the chest placements, because I can't stack chests next to each other. So I could use drawers, but... Yeah, maybe I should use drawers for this. Nah, it's gonna look strange. What is the drawer... Controller? Because we don't have any pipes or anything yet. Ah, we could... Uh, we can't get quartz. <laughs> oh, and our monster jerky is done as well. Look at us, we're doing great. This means, dudes, that we're going to be able to get to the uh, to the mob farm today. I'm going to see if I can put this up in a little bit of a neater way, though. Uh, I'm thinking we'll break... We'll break into the wall. And... Mm, oh, why did I just make it two here? That's... That's stupid. Nice. Okay, so I think I've got... Ooh, there's jumping blocks in there. I've got this set up so that we have six of these uh, apple supplies growing at all times. And that is just the best feeling. 
I don't know why I'm not regening my hearts though. It's a little bit strange, but may just be a bug. Um, because <clears throat> I really should. And oh, now the taters are like, oh well, we'll grow. We're also good. Screw you, taters. I don't even know if I want you now. I don't even know if I want you. But now, dudes, it the time has come. We we I want to make a mega mob farm. Uh, well, <laughs> mega in the sense of where we what we're able to do for the moment. So, my plan is we're gonna take this out and I can't remember. I should probably look into that first. Um, I can't remember how much of a space this grinder handles. I think it may just be a five by five, a nine by nine by nine area. Okay. A 9 by 9 by 9 that's pretty insane. I wonder then, I think I think I could make several layers in our mob farm. And we don't really need to push the mobs or anything. I don't know if it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna pick up the items though, so we have to deal with that somehow. There are the fans for mob grinding utility, but these are pretty expensive for like what we can afford at the moment. There are also some conveyor belts, but they require slime blocks. Um, what about the industrial foregone ones? These require plastic and redstone. Ah, this may be a little bit of an issue. Vacuum hopper is that of next, I think. Yeah, the absorption hopper is three obsidian, one ender pearl and blaze powder and a hopper. And this picks it up in a seven by seven area. This may be what we need to do. Oh, we can get blaze powder from sifting dust. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think making one of those and then starting with a 7x7 seven by seven, uh, by seven mob farm, because that's what the Absorbation Hopper can, can do, is probably going to be the best. Now, we can make Obsidian as long as we make sure to have Lava. And you guys remember this process. We take a Lava Bucket, put it in there, we take water, and boom, Obsidian. Okay, so we got that. Ooh, an Epic Loot Bag. Should open that. Oh my goodness, Pizza! Teleport you to your personal spawn point. Okay, I don't have a personal spawn point right now, but that could be good for, for future uses. A powered rail, a golden apple. But hey, we're, we're dining pizza today, dudes. Oh my goodness, from zero to hero, am I right? But okay, so I need to... Oh, I have blaze powder. What? Because I've sifted some dust, I suppose, but that's lucky. And I guess I'm gonna need... I think I used all my... Uh, did I use all my iron or did I have enough for another? I think I used it all. Man, my storage system... Nah, I have more in here, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my storage system is, is really, really already feeling the pain of being a storage system of Fiscal 85. <laughs> there we go. Absorption Hopper. And for those of you who are new to modded, uh, I don't actually know if I can break this with my pickaxe. I hope I can. Please don't break forever. No, it's good. we're good. For those of you new to modded, what this thing does is that it will pick things up remotely. Go into an internal inventory. Cool. Next, I want to know if we have any pipes. And the, the reason I'm doing this first is because this is going to be the hardest thing to change. So, item ducts from uh, thermal expansion. Lead and tin. And then we would need some servos, which I believe is paper. Oh no, redstone and iron and glass. Probably gonna want a handful of these. That's all my tin, 36. We'll have to make it work. And then uh, we need this. And then I need to smelt up some glass, I believe, if I don't have. I have one piece. Maybe that's actually enough. You get two for this? No, you only get one. Okay. Guys, look at this. 13, 18, 15 apples. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> we have now officially solved our food issue. Not saying that, you know, we're not going to get better food ever, but that is fantastic news. Why can't I vein mine this? It's so weird. Can I, like, vein, vein mine it with a hammer, maybe? Nope. Okay. That kind of sucks. But uh, I'm, I'm still going to want the mob farm uh, away from the base here, so... I'll probably start it right here, where we are, and then... Like I said, 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. Hmm, this is going to be a lot of digging. I better get some flint. Okay, it isn't actually that big to make something a 7x7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven by seven. Wait, was that four dimensions? <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Anyway, um, I think we can be... Or we gotta be smart here, because we only have one murder machine and we only got one collecting machine. So, 
we got to make sure to get as much mobs as possible to spawn within this 7x7x7 cube. So first things first, I'm just closing off the walls. Uh, and I'll keep the lights behind there from the old mob farm. Nice. I'm using... Uh, chiseled cobblestone here i think this block is really nice and it's cheap and free um so the plan is the plan is i want to allow endermen to spawn so we'll have one two three and then we'll have a platform on this layer as well and that's one two three up as well and then um we'll put the absorption hopper in the center i think that's how it works needs to be in the center and we'll connect this up with our pipes so this will remove a few of the spawning spaces but that will have to <laughs> that will have to be worth it so we'll wire this if i can get a torch we'll wire this underneath boop 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 i just love doing things like this by the way <laughs> it's fun it's a lot of fun but yeah we'll wire this up there to a collection system and why did i make two servos again i'm not even sure but that goes like that, and then this on the downside needs to be item. Uh, this will fill up with XP, which may be a problem, because I'm not doing anything about it. Oh, show area. Ooh, nice! Look at that perfect cube! <laughs> Love how they use the scallium green as well. And, yeah, that's the upper slab, so things should be able to spawn there. This thing can pick up through blocks as well, so that's always nice. Uh, but once I do this, and then we stand over in our base, we should immediately get mobs to spawn in here. Uh, then we need to work out how to install the mob grinder as well. I think, as opposed to the absorption hopper, that will kill things in front of it in a in a 7x7 area, or a 9x9 area. And I think it's 9x9 upwards, or I'm hoping that, because I want to put it right here in the floor. Uh, so let's go and get that. The, our, our dude Evo, he's still hanging out, he's still having a good time, which is... Kind of annoying and i just realized i forgot to drink my <laughs> my beverage that would make me do things a lot quicker um and this is where this gets a little bit scary because i'm not sure if this is gonna work <laughs> but if it is like i think it is we should be able to connect it no nope, not like that i think the skull is the correct correct side and let's get rid of this and this been repairing my pickaxe here uh if things work the way i think they work i should be able to put it there and that should be good. And I should get some wood and make chests and stuff here as well. But anyway, uh, this should be killing everything in front of it. And then we can have the power source right here and possibly on top of it as well. Um, I do want to make sure that we can look in there. So just to make sure that we get mobs. I mean, we can look at the minimap, I guess. But I was thinking of trying to do some magic with these things. Um... I need to block this up as well. This is exciting stuff. It feels like I'm making this super budget-wise. Um, it's like you're not supposed to make this already. Can I break that? Is that going to block out the light? Yes, it is. But that's going to... The mobs are going to be able to see us from here. <laughs> so let's just start this thing up. That's not going to be enough to power to keep this running though. But I just want to see if we get anything. And then... Let's also get some chests. I think is iron chests in here. Yes, it is. Okay, so maybe I think I saw we have quite a bit of copper. Yeah, maybe we can make two copper chests. There is a generator from Draconic Evolution. I can't remember if this guy is bad or good for generating power, but we do have another Draconic core. And how do we get netherrack? We put oh, we put lava. Oh, we put a redstone in a lava, so we can actually make that. I would need quite a bit. I would need four pieces of redstone, and I would need some more lava, but maybe we've tried that out. I don't remember last time I did this. Yeah, that's how we get netherrack, and then we smelt that up to get the uh, nether brick, of course. Uh, with the copper chest that we were making, um, I can make two of them. A copper chest is equally big as a large or as a double chest, I believe. But yeah, this thing should be... It is spawning mobs. We can see that on the minimap and hear it. <laughs> and then... This doesn't really matter, but... Uh, maybe we put... Maybe we just put one chest in here for now. See how that does. Oh no, this should be killing things right now. Feels like it definitely has enough power to do like one kill. <laughs> 
Otherwise, we're in trouble power generation wise. I think it was. I gotta look up how much this draw uh, this drains actually. But yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The if I break this, will they fall down to me? Hello, hello, Zombert, come down. Okay, let's see if the mob grinder gets him. Yeah, it does. Okay, crap. So we can't have it placed there. Oh, that sucks. What if we place it here? No, not there. <laughs> what if we place it up there? And it retains its energy buffer. Um, maybe that will, maybe that will do the trick. Because I'm thinking the reason it didn't get him there was because it doesn't, it doesn't do the whole nine by nine like I thought it does. But maybe here. It does like three up and three down or something. Four up, four down. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to try that and see what happens. We should be getting... Yeah, we got the zombie loot in here. Nice, so that's working. We're going to get loot packs and stuff from this. I'm going to try because we have the Draconic Core and because Draconic Evolution is an amazingly powerful mod. I'm going to try to get to the... Uh, to make the generator from that mod. And yeah, it's going to take a little bit of a grind because I need more redstone. Which I get from dust. And I also need more lava. It's actually not too bad. Uh, but it is a little bit more of uh, of the old uh, smashing and <laughs> and sifting. Which I gotta say, is, it's not too bad with the, uh, with the multi-sifters. The problem I'm having... Can I do this, by the way? Yes. Nice. The problem I'm having with it is that, uh, as you can see, there are four different levels. To get through, you gotta get to dirt. You gotta get... Uh, or to, to gravel, to dirt, to sand, and then to dust. I just realized we can probably already go to the nether if we want to and just collect netherrack, but... Oh well. <laughs> I'm not I'm not the smartest guy ever. Why is this taking so freaking long? Oh, I just realized something. If you look at the minimap, it says compressed spider, top right hand corner. <laughs> that means that we got that weird mod in here that makes like mini bosses everywhere. <laughs> That's freaking scary, man. <laughs> oh, so I think if you kill a compressed spider, nine new spiders pops out, which is great for us. Uh, by the way, this guy is getting very annoying. I think he, he summoned his brother. Yeah. Ugh. May have to deal with them in a minute. But okay, uh, Draconic Core, where are you? Where are thou? Oh. Did we not... Am I... Am I blind or did we not get eight draconic cores? <sighs> no, did I all do all this in vain? Oh no, there they are. <laughs> I was looking for something purple. Okay, so generator. Uh, I need a furnace and I still haven't looked up how much RF per tick this yields. I think it's 80, which is not great. But it's like among the best that we have right now. Uh, this thing has killed more stuff, but right now the mobs that are in here. No, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. The one thing that I didn't want to happen happened. So if I plonk this down here and we put this in. Oh, it's killing things. It killed something. <laughs> it feels like it still doesn't get everything though, does it? Uh, let's just make another chisel because I forgot mine. And repair this stuff. There is a lot of mob spawning though, so that's good, but... Yeah, I mean, 9x9, nine nine, it doesn't feel like it's getting them in a 9x9 nine nine area. Oh, something else died though. And I guess to make sure that the skeletons don't see us, we can't really have this opened at all. <laughs> I wonder what it is that it doesn't reach what it doesn't reach because now it's not it's not a power thing right now it does definitely have the power it needs okay uh oh don't you dare skeleton blow up that creeper so why is it not oh it did it there is it just super slow <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe it does reach everything because I'm not making any sense of the the reach. It could definitely have reached the skeleton and the zombies there. Hmm. So right now we seem to have a functioning mob farm, although we may have to 
test it out, which produces uh, the loot bags, which is what I want to try and use. Magic bean? Oh, that's amazing. Rubber tree supply, hello. And another inventory upgrade. I even forgot about these things. Nice. I don't think it did anything. But yeah, I, I think that is working. And what I want to do is essentially live off of these loot bags. Because you can automatically open them and do all sorts of stuff. We need to collect more uh, bones and uh, rotten flesh for the next quest. Emerald sword? And a swapping wand? The swapping wand is great. The emerald sword, I don't know if that's great. It's better than the one I have. Uh, by the way, I think we can also... No? Did he... Did he become a friend? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you didn't evolve in height, you stupid idiot, did you? Yeah. The problem with having these guys around is that they will take up the mob cap. Okay, so let's try and grow this magic bean. I can't remember. Do I need to till the land or how does this work? Let's see. I do have a hole somewhere. I thought we'll just make another one. It's like not something I need to be looking for. And oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. I remember this. This gives us random stuff. I guess we do have some bone meal. I'm just going to try and bone meal it. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. 71, 85. Look at that. It changes color every time. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. You get them back. And you get completely random blocks and stuff. Look at this. You get emeralds. Oh. <laughs> okay. We got to make a farm. Using these. Uh, using these things. We have to make a farm using them because we can get like diamonds and stuff. I think it's completely random stuff that you can get from them. That's going to be one of our priorities. Make a junk farm. <laughs> oh, man. Another priority is, of course, to... Can I, can I pick up the chest in this? No. Another priority is, of course, to make sure that we are uh, getting a better storage system here. Because, uh, honestly, this is, this is looking pretty bad right now. Push. Nice. <laughs> Move the chests. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We have got um, an insane amount of apples, which is great. I'm so happy about that. Thank you ever so much for the for the uh, tip. I think this room can maybe serve as our junk farm. Uh, I do want to automate that, though. Our mob farm is probably working. I see another mob in here. <laughs> it's probably working. It doesn't seem to be 100% efficient. This seems to be idling on this a lot. And I'm not sure. Maybe the information that I found is wrong in terms of how big of a range this guy has. Um, I'm also hoping that we get player kills. I think we do. Maybe I should have should have looked that up. I found another source just looking this up. I don't, found another source that says 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, which is what we have anyway. So hopefully all is good. I guess I'm going to AFK a little bit in between episodes and see... Because uh, that will kind of answer whether or not uh, I'm correct in, in, my, in, my, in my mob farm here. But long story short, we've got a ton more resources. Uh, we still have to wait to get more uh, stuff to complete the mob farm quest. But we're doing pretty good, even though we didn't per se do any, do any quests today. We are still doing great. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Thank you for the love and support. Do hit the like button if you did enjoy it. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.